We all, we all okay? Yeah. yeah. It is uh, supposed to be the festivities of this time where the good spirits of Jesus should be there. But it seems to be opposite to our plant from our field, the sheep, the chest of the Since he was arrested and he was detained at Mulega Police Station, with very clear instructions that nobody can access him. Not his lawyers, not his family, not his uh, elected leaders, not the members of the public. We had to come here yesterday to get authority to go back to Modai as his advocates to see him. That is a constitutional right. That is the right Kenyans gave to themselves. After we saw him yesterday, he told us his medical condition, which we raised with the police immediately but we didn't have documentation. So yesterday, we looked for the documents, we contacted the first hospital where he was treated, that is current hospital, and found out the documents that he was operating. A very serious operation that he underwent, and he had shown us the type of stitches, the type of wounds that he was carrying while he was in police custody. <laughs> then after that, we conducted his other doctor, Professor Chung, who wrote a summary of the medical condition that uh, Wazir is facing. The condition is fatal. The condition is an acute pneumonia that can develop. There's a doctor here, Dr. Senator, will explain to us the medical condition. So we wrote that letter in the morning and told the DCI that at no cost, Waziri should be released on cash bail so that the family takes him to hospital or the police take him to hospital. And subsequent to that explanation, the police decided to pick our client from Modaiga and bring him to come and be investigated. We left Modaiga, came here together with my senior, Clifford Better, a panel, a strong team of six investigators assembled at the boardroom. Our client's medical condition was completely deteriorating. He started coughing, he started breathing heavily, he started sweating, he started having fever, and the interview could not proceed. Faced with that reality, that here is a man who is likely to die in police custody, the interview could not proceed, he has been taken back to Modega police station as the officers here consult their bosses. We hope that the bosses, because the, the biggest boss is the Inspector General of Police and in this place is the Director of Criminal Investigation, Mr. Mohamed Amin. We have put it very clearly that in the event our client dies, in police custody against the advice of his doctors, we will hold liable those officers who will detain and will continue to detain when he is likely to die. We have given a copy of the medical reports to the members of the fourth estate. There's nothing to hide. We have told the police that this is not the first time people have died in police custody. I was part of the, uh, when the former town clerk of Nairobi, Rakuo, asked the court to be allowed to go to see his doctor, and the court refused Rakuo died. 
are we likely to see a chaser die just because a complainant has taken control of the police? Ferdinand Baraz, the governor of Kakamega, who is a complainant, has no role to order the police not to release our client to go to hospital. We are appealing to all the forces in the whole country to take notice that the life of Rashid Echesa Mohammed is in danger. Good brother, Senator, will address that cliff better with finalize on the position of the